All right, would it would it be wrong to say that I like Allie's new stuff better than her previous stuff? Just hit the hit the sounder. Oh, whoa, wait, sorry. Wait, oh, hold on. I failed again because I muted because you told me to. Here we go. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's great. Uh, no, uh, I, I really adore the sound of, of a little bit of, of, of production electronica in there. I, 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 I love it. Love it. I mean, that's also like I have been in your car and you have and just you're playing music that you just have in your car. Uh, all of it is electronica. Zero of it is acoustic folk. So, yeah. like, I think that that's that's safe. To say well, and, that- and, and 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 it doesn't necessarily have to be the the genre of electronica. It just you know I I like produced music. I like I like shit that sounds like it went through a mechanical ringer. Um, and and you know that could be of you know various varieties. Everything from you know techno to dance to industrial to, you know, <laughs> we play both kinds of music, <laughs> country <laughs> and western. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. No, I think it's. I mean, there's. Part of it is that, like, I didn't realize she had that gear. Yeah. Because and she's good lot, at it, right? There, there are a lot of really, really amazing uh, musicians that on lo- or online, specifically, and on YouTube that are just great acoustic, you know, sing into the camera kind of artists, right? Uh, I didn't realize that she had that kind of production gear to her and that her voice, which always felt like... There was a reason part of her act before with the Simpsons songs were, was that, you know, she, you're, she's singing these like almost haunting songs, these haunting kind of love songs about very light subject matter. So like the, the, the dichotomy there made it special. And like, this is stuff where it's like, man, this, you might not know that this shit's about Rick and Morty and it sounds awesome. Like it sounds really, 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 really great. Uh, like, well, and, 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 and I don't um, know. I, I, I alluded to it, I think, a couple weeks ago when we were talking about it, and I couldn't access the adjective I was trying to. I think I said, like, sensual or something for her voice. What I meant was uh, sultry. She has a sultry voice in, in those, those songs that I like quite a bit. Uh, yeah, dude. No, I think she's, she's got something, and uh, that is really it's, – uh, it's good stuff. Good, good stuff. Sultry. Uh, by the way, we have a request for Cheeto to add this to the episode, which uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reject it out of hand. <laughs> the trial vid blaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can actually take down the concept, uh, or sorry, we, we we can take down the, the resolution. Yeah. How, how the gap between us is eight years, right? You're. The big four zero. Yeah, I'm forty. You're thirty three. Uh, thirty two. Jesus, bro. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Golly. Oh, god damn it! Hold on. Uh, call the other line. You called the one line Jesus, that's Justin's bro. line. Uh, let me call Justin back. There you go. Hello. Je- uh, sorry. Hold on. I'm trying to figure called out. Called it to... on the wrong thing. Yeah, you did. Uh, in... I don't know how to get you back though. Well, I'm oh, back. There you go. Okay. You are back. You're back, I'm y'all. back, y'all, and I'm back, y'all, and I'm bigging it back, and I'm back, y'all. By the way, did you see uh, Straight Outta Compton? No. Uh, I saw it at an Alamo Draft House in oh, really? Dallas, and um, the the uh, uh, Draft House pre movie get you in the mood. Oh, did, did they play a bunch of CB4 the straight out of low cash? Well, no, you realize how many there were the, the two competing uh, 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 NWA parody movies. Oh, yeah. No, there was, there was Fear of a Black Hat and CB4 came out at the same time. Right? So they both those trailers, which is like, it was like that, a bunch of like live footage of, of stuff. Uh, and, uh, and and stuff. Hey, joining us now because uh, we're talking about rap music. Uh, you know, is is uh, is Owen JJ Stone. When you talk about rap, a black appears. <laughs> you did somebody say hip hopica? <laughs> I was having all right. So I was I was running today, and I had this thought. Um, 
And I only preface the fact that I was running while I was thinking about it to prove that I have uh, any element of physical fitness in my life. Uh, Six. That there is a difference between the conversations that I can have with Brian and I can have with Owen that, like, I am, like, race neutral. That if Owen and I are having a race conversation, we can go in totally different directions than if Brian and I are just having a race conversation. Uh, well, tell him when I called you and congratulated you on your uh, engagement. Who, who called you? Uh, Owen called me. Owen calls me up. We're in Seattle. Uh, it's the morning uh, after. And I, I finally, I've lived my entire life, and I've never had my excited black grandmother call me until uh, the day after I got engaged. Uh, it was, what did he say? It was a magical moment for me. <laughs> Well, you know what it's like, Brian. My baby done grown up. He done got a full beard. He's not only a sea <laughs> Jew, he's married now. My baby is married. He all oh, he got a job. He done made these cards and he's selling them to white people. Talk about politics. That's my baby. From birth, I've been waiting for this man to grow up. And look at my sea Jew now. Lord, Lord. So happy for him. I really am. I like it, sea Jew. I like it. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was an amazing moment. We told her exactly when we were going to jump the broom. It was, uh, it was just a, a, a fantastic watershed, uh, a memory for me. I'm surprised you answered the morning after too. I was like, I'm calling this fool. I was like, that's how you know you love me. Cause he, he laid up like, why is Owen, oh, the, Owen, unless, you know, unless there's some serious, uh, uh, shit going down the year, you're, you're, you're always getting, you're always getting the pickup. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't get a lot of call from Owen because you're always you're busy. Also, you're mysterious. You never know what you're doing. You know, True. all of a sudden it's like it's like, oh, wait, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm in a gunfight in Tokyo. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm uh, I'm 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 uh, I'm trying to, to lift Gary Vaynerchuk's wallet. I'm sitting right across from you and I saw you bang me on the fucking decline, bitch. You better pick up that phone. <laughs> oh, speaking of Gary Vaynerchuk. I made a video about Gary today, and I was so angry about his video. I made a video, a very ranty and black video. I'm going to put it out tomorrow morning. So, what? Wait, wait. What? What was his video? So Gary did one of his new films. He makes films now, not videos. He makes films, and his core thing is inspiring you. If you're the 40 year old or 50 year old, 60 year old or 80 year old, you could be an entrepreneur. Pick up that phone and learn social media and work from, from 12 o'clock at night and, and don't give up and you too could do something with your life. And I'm starting to think, who the fuck is working at 80 years old trying to make a fucking social media website, dude? Like, who are you talking to? But it was a very rah-rah bullshit speech and I couldn't handle it. So I made a very... So what is he... He's he's a, a social media consultant now? Is this like... is that, is he's, that like the, Tony, he's like the Tony Robbins of tech. So he's doing tech business and he's doing uh, digital media marketing, but he's also very fluffy uplifting where he tells you a whole bunch of bullshit that's not real and people get hyped thinking they could do stuff and then but they spend their life savings that. chasing that's... some internet dream that they can't actually fucking make fruition to. But but he's always that's always been a part of what he does, right? Is, I know, the, but sometimes it's just overboard, bro. Like when you start talking to seven year olds telling them that they can go do something on the internet. Like, those people that are going to do something at 70 don't need to listen to him. And anybody that is going to listen to him is going to lose the little bit of life savings they got left chasing some internet dream. Hmm. So you're saying that, you know, if, if so some you, old lady wants to do a website about how one time she jerked off Glenn Miller. Uh, don't do like, it, Mom. The, like, don't do it. Don't do it. Hmm. Don't, don't do it. Do it. Just, just retweet it tomorrow for me, Justin. I feel good about myself. Uh, sure. I will. I would, I, I would, I would share it now, it? but it's well, long. First, you don't want to listen see? to me. Yell at the camera for five minutes. Thing? We need context. What's what's Gary Vaynerchuk's thing? Oh well, I clipped his context in with my context. Oh, so anyone you're who didn't just ranting it about it. Gets context, yes. Yes. God. So one of his things was saying, "Oh, well, you have experience, and don't let your experience hold you back." And I'm thinking, how many sixty year olds do you have employed at your five hundred person company? Because when I go in there, I see nothing but twenty something year olds. Like, where are the six-year-olds working for you that you're saying they have all this experience? Wait. Nobody wants to pay for experience. You fire people to hire younger people because you don't want to pay for experience. Uh, you want cheaper people. <clears throat> so, again, he's a, he's a salesman. He's a great salesman. I just – today I got angry. Uh, uh, death is stronger than pride. Yeah. That's the way to go. Nope. Down with it.
Down with it. Show by oh, how come there's no black people in this movie game thing any time of the year? I'm calling racism. What? I'm uh, sorry. Somebody didn't watch. Somebody oh, didn't watch. I was I was I, I meant black person like me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not worried about other black people. I'm talking about me. You don't understand how racism works. You know, I, I call my myself black person I for see. my own favor. All right, fair enough. <laughs> It's me, black person. Hi. <laughs> right? Some people say I'm not black. <laughs> but look in the mirror. <laughs> when I turn or off the, the lights, Obama will have you believe that everyone can be black. <laughs> Just turn off the light in the bathroom and we're all black. Uh, I think you need to change your cont uh, contrast. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, earlier when you were talking, about, oh, it's BB Live, and everything kept breaking. I'm just yelling at the screen. That's how BB Live works. <laughs> works. Nothing works. <laughs> you're trying to call her on Skype, and it's like fail. I'm like, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're jer you're jerking off. You're like, just one more fail. I can make this work. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Until I have my lotion for an hour. <laughs> I was popping and locking. I was double stroking. <laughs> oh, man. I can feel it. Doing the milkman? Yeah. <laughs> All day long, baby. You know how I do it. Uh, it so, uh, so, Owen, what's, uh, what's, 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 what's on your mind these days besides yelling at Gary Vaynerchuk on the internet? Um, white people are crazy. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I, when I went on the internet yesterday and, like, uh, a little black boy got... Uh, suspended for staring at a white girl at a staring contest. Uh, Meryl Streep's uh, over in France wearing I'd rather be a rebel than a slave. And I'm thinking, like, is it 1930? What happened to every white person? Why are they all losing their minds? And then I went on one of the little Facebook sites and I said, white people are crazy. And then, like, 8,000 people yelled at me and I forgot. I can't even make a joke anymore. I just want to go back to the days where you could make fun of people and you could say, hey, black people are crazy and white people are crazy and people don't get mad at you. But now everybody's a racist and it sucks. See, now here's the funny thing about that is like, I feel like there's an element that now that we are so interconnected and we talk to each other so much that there is what's lost is like back in the day when I was growing up, when a black person would say to your face that white people are crazy, you got a sense that like, oh, wait, this is what's said behind our backs. And now <laughs> this is an element of honesty being right. opened up. And now you can be, you're in on it. You're in on the fact that a bunch of black people alone will say, look at how crazy these white people are. And Eddie Murphy special. told the whole world in offensive. like three comedy specials when I was a kid growing up, white people are crazy. And black people sat around like, yeah, see, he told you, see, you know, Eddie told you. Yeah. So, it's different. Uh, and you, you, you long for the days, the days when I, we could. Dude, I'm talking to people. Back in, is, this, is this how we're officially old? Did we just officially become old? We Wait. officially got old because, like, I'm talking to people I've known for five or six years, and they're telling me that I'm a racist. And I'm like, my daughter is half white. What the fuck do you mean? Like, I, I impregnated a white woman. I do not dislike white people. I'm just saying that some of y'all are fucking crazy, okay? <clears throat> Black people shoot people. Hispanic people stab people. And white people just <laughs> steal and plunder that's and a, sleep. First of all, that's like, a stereotype, all right? Everyone knows that, that uh, Hispanic people cut off their heads and burn the corpses that's, as I a said warning. Cut people. I, I made, made it plain and simple. It counts as a cut, stab right? Stab it counts as a cut. All right. Yeah. That's what Spanish people do. That's what we do. Icing off somebody's head is just a cut with purpose. <laughs> right? By the way, That's Carl. That's some deep purpose. Carl, uh, that, that cup is missing. I, I lost both the green cup and the, and the orange cup. I don't know where either of them went. They're both uh, the magic green cup is no more. Mm. You going to no. be able to sleep tonight with them spikes? I'm going to have to take a shower. I've gotten too accustomed to not grossing up my... Uh, yeah, my pillows. It's been kind of nice. It was it was fun for an evening just to see if I could do it. I was gonna say, I was like, you freaking out. You're like, man, I don't even know what to do with this anymore, man. It's yeah. like I haven't even been here like special like in a long time. I was surprised that it worked. I didn't I didn't think I would. Yeah, be able you to stretched do it. it to the limit. Yeah, uh, you could tell the sides uh, are are all weird because I can't. I, I they're not shaved like the old days. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just you're what an is. adult. Well, nobody can have hair like the sea Jew. That's uh, this, that's old. That's old. Luxurious wave. Rico. Oh wait, Suave. Yeah, uh, Owen, are you? Uh, who's older, Owen or Justin? Wait, let's have the chat room take a vote. 
Is yeah, I don't think I even know. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, know either. If I know how, I, I guess I've always thought of myself as the same age as Owen. Well, they're going to look at my Facebook. My Facebook uh, says I'm 64. By the way, Toilet Bug, uh, for the record, he's freaking out because I wear a shirt that says not from California. Guess what? I am from California. I was born in Fountain Valley, California. Oh, so it's irony. Suck uh, it. That's hilarious. Um, oh, so quick fun story. I was um, out on a date. Girl tried to tell me. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. My, my mics are blinging. So girl tried to tell me, she's like, oh, how often have you been on Tinder? And I'm like, well, I've never used Tinder. It's not my thing to do. She's like, every guy's used Tinder. And I um, I bet her. Should I should I install Tinder right now? Well, I bet her um, <laughs> old fellatio after the date if I could prove to her that I didn't use Tinder. To which she said, I'll take that bet because there's no way you can prove that you do not use Tinder. And so I pulled out my phone. I opened the Tinder app, which is connected to your Facebook. And all of my women on Tinder are 70-plus-year-old women. Ah, that's your proof. Facebook thinks I'm 64. And she's like, what the fuck is going on in here? And I'm like, because I lie about all my information. I couldn't use Tinder if I wanted to. Even though there are a couple of 70-year-old bitches on there that's hot. But for the most part. Dude. They're the most like, elaborate. Like, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> when you looked at my Tinder, you're like, swipe night. left. Ever? Swipe left <laughs> wow all the time wait hold on so, owen uh is this the most like elaborate humble brag ever because you got your dick sucked for winning a twitter bet last night well the real humble brag of my life about getting my dick sucked i had a girl let's see i'll tell you the best story of my life this best story i tell people how i'm pimping the streets okay so <laughs> um and this is actually somebody you guys know which i'll tell you off the air of this because i don't want to get in trouble just text text it after you're done Okay, because she, she, she watches your show. She's a fan of the show, actually. This girl. Um, so, she, we went out on, like, two dates. And I didn't hit on her. I didn't do anything with her. I was just leaving her alone. I was trying to be nice. So, the third date, I could tell she really liked me. I didn't know if I really liked her. And she was like, you're not going to make a move on me or anything? And I'm like, eh, you know, we'll see what happens. And so, she's like, well, can I stay tonight? Because I've been drinking. I don't want to go home. And I said, okay, that's cool. I was like, all right, well, you got two options. I could bring you a pillow out here to the couch. Or you can sleep in my bed if you give me head tonight. And Whoa. so she got right up, went right into my bedroom, and that started our semi-short-term relationship. Because I'm a boss. God damn. I thought uh, options, all right, Babcat is already uh, Babcat is already saying it's probably his mom. Uh, so now, uh, so now <laughs> you you text text me and Brian who this is. I actually have a you, secret uh, guess. Brian knows. I know Brian knows. Justin won't I, know. I think you've told me this, actually. I right? have told you the story, but Brian yeah. knows who it is. Hmm. I probably forgot. I don't pay a lot of attention to my own life. Uh, and now, this is the great moment where we just wait to find out who sucked Owen's dick. <laughs> <laughs> so our situation. Anyway, who's older? Why are we not um, figuring that out yet? Oh, there yeah. it goes. October 1949. Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Of course. Yeah. All right. What's, Wait, what's um, funny hey, is, is... I get it. Where's where's my text? You you weren't there. You wouldn't know. The context wouldn't mean anything to you. Wait, so do I, I not know this you, person? You don't. You weren't there. Brian oh. was there. <sighs> what's funny well, is... Why do I care? Brian's seen it go down. Yeah. This is stupid. That was the thing. <laughs> Justin's like, I want to know. I don't, well, no, just don't mean like why. Then why did you set it up? Like we we're both gonna. I know. set it up. Well, somebody, fifty percent of the room knows. Yeah. Look here, here, Justin. I will text you what I just texted. Text God me. damn it. Text you me a video of, of you getting your dick sucked. <laughs> God damn it. Right, 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 right. 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 kill, kill all this. <laughs> so uh, I'll send you a video. Uh, yeah. Owen, have you seen this safety video yet? I was yo. That's a problem. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you were playing that earlier, and I was like, yo, what is wrong with people, and, like, why is it like that? Is it important, Owen? Hey, so, uh, uh, real real quick, Justin, um, I, I, you know, I I asked you back in the day, um, you know, what the, the, the whole Gamergate thing was, and you made the very adroit observation that you cannot describe what the Gamergate thing is without... Uh, revealing what your take on it is. Like, you can't even say what it is without it being a thing. And I realized I was watching the same thing happen again with this whole clock bomb oh, uh, uh, Mah uh, Ahmed Mohammed thing um, yeah. with, the, the, with the hoax. And it's the same thing. It's like it's like everybody's screaming across each other. And there was a little bit of it uh, with, um, you know, I'm not going to name names of the chat because I don't want to cause a rift or, rift or anything. But, like, there were chat realms finest that were, yeah. like, racists. 
And then I'm like, uh, anyway, it was fascinating. It was fascinating to watch that. So here's the funniest thing is like, and the only thing I think I tweeted about it was that like, I'm really, really glad we had this big national thing that the president commented on so we could all remember how much high school sucked. Like, you know, <laughs> finally we could all be reminded that everybody who uh, both runs a high school. Uh, okay. That doesn't help me, Owen. Jesus. I told you. Well, then why just, that's fine. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so I, 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 what I, what I really just don't understand about it is beyond the headline, like the same thing happened this week about, uh, there was like the headline that went around the world was Florida Senate candidate and <laughs> <it's laughs> drinking a goat's blood. Right. Well, well, slaughtering a goat, slaughtering offering a goat it to a pagan god, blood, and right? drinking its blood. Yeah, that's the headline, right? Yeah, and White indeed, people. somebody right? running for senate uh, uh, said all of that on the record to an AP reporter. What it doesn't mention is that anybody can run for senate. It was somebody who did not have a chance to win and was legitimately a crazy person. Yeah. So it's like beyond the headline of young kid gets arrested for bringing a clock to school. What really like when you read into it, it's like, OK, so the the the, the school seems like they kind of botch this. Right. Uh, maybe there's a, a racist element to it. Maybe there's not. Uh, the kid took apart a clock. And put it back together in a thing, which seems like something that a, a ninth grader might think impressive to people. None of that really, like, seems uncontroversial to me. And yet, for some reason, it's like this watershed moment in, in all of, of everything. Like, it's just like, same thing with that stupid Kim Davis lady. Where it's like, all right, I get where she's coming from. She didn't do her job. She went to jail for it. Okay, this seems like a 24-hour story. That seems like a 30-minute story. Hey, did you hear about the thing that happened at some Dallas suburb? Whoa, man, that's crazy. Done. We're done with the newsworthiness right, of this. For, for, for the record, um, this is something that I have not heard really discussed lately. Uh, but um, do you remember what the number one story was before September 11th? Uh... The sharks? Hint. Yep, it was the su the summer of the shark. Oh, God damn it, I have to do push-ups. Um, it was the summer of the shark. And, uh, like, that entire half decade leading up to 9-11 was fucking filled with awesomely retarded stories. And we are back to the age of awesomely retarded stories. Thank God this is the horse shit that fills our news air. Uh, oh, yeah, no, so so we, we have finally fulfilled the promise of the Onion headline, a nation longs to care about stupid shit again. Yes, and we're here. We're here. It's all stupid, stupid shit. I mean, but is it, like, uh, uh, no, no, it is stupid shit, and I agree with you. Uh, well, does any, now, who, who cares about the pans Tran America trade that they're about to do and enslave the whole world? That's bullshit. Yeah, whatever. See? Yeah. See? He doesn't care. They're about to be slaves, and he doesn't even care. Yeah, whatever. 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 Yeah, Kid, kid, good kid. That's uh, racist. That's racist. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> Owen, we expect better from you. <laughs> better from me. My favorite thing about that kid with the clock is, what if he's a fucking Manchurian candidate, and now he's in the middle of Twitter and Facebook and getting his ass at the White House, and that's how they get the Muslims in the door. Think about it, man. I like the fact that you just used the word Muslim to be equal to terrorist. You didn't say yeah. the terrorists in the door. Hey, the hey, Muslims When you're in a Manchurian candidate, that's what you got to do. Like, bro. Everyone, I mean, there are, we have a You Muslim. said Jewish flag earlier. You said Jewish flag. Did you mean Israeli flag? I, I did. I did. I did. Flag. 
I did. Although it I is did. the Jewish state. I mean, yeah, come on. I mean, are you, are you, are you accusing uh, Israel Israel of not being Jewish? Well, I'm, I'm just accusing them not of calling their flag a Jewish flag. I mean, I'll tell you what. If you look at, uh, like, by the way, that's that's the pitch of everybody who goes on Birthright Israel. If you are, if you are, and anybody who's Jewish will fucking tell you, if you go on Birthright Israel, they, it is a timeshare pitch. You get a free trip to Israel. You're a Jewish kid in America. You get a free trip to Israel there for like a month or a couple of weeks or something like that, right? And then at some point, they bring you into a room and they say, hey, listen, fun story. We have a Jewish state now. Isn't that rad? Here's the problem. Non-Jewish people keep moving here, having sex and having babies, and they're having sex faster than we are. So what we're going to need you to do is leave East Orange, New Jersey, and move to Israel, have sex with another Jewish person, not a non-Jewish person, and have more Jewish babies. Dude, I, for, that I forget is the actual pitch of Birthright Israel. I f- wait, I, wait, 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 wait. The, what about Denmark? right now do it for mom if you go to denmark they'll give you a free three-week vacation to bang it out if you get impregnated on said vacation you get three years of free child care and free food for that baby i'm about to move to denmark and spread my seed no all right can i just say for the record that it's like this shit is so dumb we should get brown as fuck as fast as we can just everybody fuck everybody this is so dumb Number one, uh, needs to be you're the only we one need, not in the pool, we need, bro. <laughs> we need Blasians. I mean, look. <laughs> we I mean, need, oh, uh, so I'm uh, the problem. I see. <laughs> the Rican, uh, one, we need uh, everything. It, like, we'd, have, we'd have to reorganize this to go Pantone because uh, I'm definitely in the middle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, like Japan ain't having babies. Like People need babies. I'm about to go start making these babies worldwide. I'm about to go you help out. Be a, a, a professional baby giver. Yes, I uh, they eat babies. That's one of those things where it's like I don't understand the xenophobia, the the the, the anti-immigration, um, you know, sentiment among among older generations uh, in the United States, where it's like we don't make enough babies to replace ourselves in the United States. The only reason we have zero population growth in the U.S. is because of all the people coming across the border. And guess what? They are providing valuable services. And one of them is in this stu- studio right now. Who's planning to? Uh, he's, <laughs> uh, Jaime Ruiz is is is, is over here uh, from El Salvador. But uh, uh, see, uh, okay, here, real quick, uh, Jaime, I, I, what's it like on the other side of the border? You all wish you could come over and take our jobs? See, <laughs> I I would like to run for president. <laughs> uh, I have a friend. His name is Napoleon. He's been very good to me. Jesus Christ. Is that a Napoleon Dynamite reference from it, 13 years ago? My name is Pedro. Oh, Vote for Pedro. No, stop, stop, stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Yeah, man, uh, That's the reference we, as old as some of the websites we were looking at. We, yeah. we, we, we all want to move here because there's plenty of meat. <laughs> and barbecue, Texas. Oh, okay. got it. Oh, number oh. one, oh, okay. Jaime, for whatever reason, has just decided to go on every Diamond Club podcast and have some preference about the fact that he really likes the barbecue in Texas. In fact, if somebody wants to cue up my awkward transition on jury this week, uh, somebody fine. I told a, a, a very serious story about uh, my first day as a professional journalist where I had to call people on 9-11 to find out whether or not they were dead or not. This is my first job as a paid journalist because we were talking about the whole mass shooting, reporters being callous thing. Uh, and then I immediately, I don't even, even want to spoil what I tried to go into. <laughs> All right, here. 17 people died, bro. 17 people we died. All right, here we go. Podcast is brought to you by 345 of the no, 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 reddest find, find people the time on code. the Find planet. the time code. Oh, okay. At Patreon. I think it's it's like uh, somebody will find the the, the 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 time code there, but it's right after the first segment. I I, I try to make a very awkward transition. Uh, yeah, twenty one thirty ish. So you probably just clip to twenty one thirty. All right, hold on. Let me. Oh wait, here we go. Sunbun's got it. There we go. Sunbun has it right here. Boom. Sunbun. Oh my god. What did I do? What a disaster. This is this oh, is this just is after a fucking happened. disaster. Oh, like oh 
ever? If I spent the the the, the last time going into a heartfelt story no, about no, no, no. Uh, right, here, skip you know, it, skip it a little how bit. How I partitioned my brain in there, into sorry. wait before twenty two minutes in, yeah. Oh jeez, all right. We've got iPhone reviews coming up right now. Or right after this. This is the Justin Robert Young podcast. You can email the show, justinrobertyoung at gmail.com. Uh, we'll be right back. So I spent 22 minutes. Yeah? 22 minutes telling a story about having to call dead people on 9-11 and what it meant to me and what I thought about, like, the role of a reporter in a tragedy situation. I decided to go into that. And immediately, if you actually look down below at the chat room, it is just all aghast in, in how awkward that transition was which basically derails the rest of the show. And for whatever reason, I decided to load, I decided to layer in, layer by layer, in the, uh, in, 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 in the, in the, uh, com in the email section. Listen, like, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to say that that was a good segue. I'm saying it's an impossible segue to make good, okay? I only have a board, I by and large do a fairly funny show. I do a fairly upbeat and silly show. For whatever reason, I decided to lead with that. That's my fault. I fucked up, and I have nothing else. I don't have the sad version of, of, of Yakety Sacks. Although, maybe, I'll tell you what. Let's see which one would have been the worst out of all the options I have right here. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, uh, let, me, let me try it one more time, okay? We're going to segue away from it right now. Uh, and that was the first moment that I cried. I, I saw uh, my, in, in that moment, I saw my aunt uh, put up a, a missing poster of my, my cousin, and... Uh, and I just, uh, I cried, because it wasn't a story, it was real life. iPhone 6 reviews, right after this. <laughs> See, that would have been bad. That would have been, I think that would have been worse. I think right, that so one would have I mean, been. That's, that's, we don't even Let's just try it one more you time. get it, jurytalks.com, but like, uh, uh, yeah, no, it was, I forgot even where we were going with this. It's oh fine. no, Jaime called in. Yeah. I, I was I was I was uh, at uh, my my wits end and I'm like let's just open up the lines. Jaime calls in and literally the only thing he can say is like, "Hey, I didn't think the transition was that awkward." I'm like, "Anything but that. Can we not talk about the transition." He's like, "I love meat." <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, people don't realize when you land in Austin and the first thing you, you you notice is the barbecue smell, and it's it's fantastic and wonderful, and, and it's really yep. Mm. I'm well, fat. That wasn't the first thing I no? noticed. And I'm fat, but once I got out of the airport, I kind of well, noticed yeah. it. The little no, shacks yeah. all no. over the side of the road everywhere. Downtown Austin smells like barbecue. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah downtown, once you get downtown, yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, absolutely. I thought you meant as soon as you hit Austin. Oh no, no. Yeah. There's no. It's all them taco there's, trucks. There's a little. There's a little like like hipster kid smell which which is nice yeah. in its own way yeah but, uh, no, uh, no. how is so is is austin uh how are you reacting to austin continuing to to explode brian uh hold on i'm sorry somebody just sent me the actual moment <laughs> when you went full captain picard oh my god what did i do what a disaster this is this is just a fucking disaster of a show uh, ladies and gentlemen, the El Salvadorian Don. Uh, hi, May. How you doing? Hey, hey, Justin. Pretty good. Uh, so, so uh, what, what's on your mind, buddy? Uh, dude. Um, first of all, <laughs> uh, Texas is awesome. Um, Are you in Texas? I am, and there's all kinds of meat <laughs> products <laughs> and sauces. I love the fact that he's selling it. He's like, there's meats and sauces, <laughs> not just the one or the other. And no. fat bacon, which is fantastic. Um. <laughs> I'm looking at Justin, trying to see, like Justin's yeah, like, like, what do I do with this? <laughs> it, it gets better. Uh, this. On, on. Besides that, um, I think I think the music was okay. I, no, I think listen, we don't. That's the one thing we don't need. We don't need more conversation about the terrible segue. Like that's we've already spent half the show. I spent a quarter of the show talking about 9/11. Brilliant fucking idea for a fun, light-hearted show, jury. And then I spent the next quarter of it talking about how shitty of a decision it was because I decided to segue out of it with the fucking Princeton Tiger theme song and now I don't need more calls on it. Okay. 
So, so what else? Do you have anything else in the world that you want to talk? <laughs> we can talk about anything else. Um. So yeah, meat. Um, <laughs> Texas is full of meat. Apparently. Okay. <laughs> 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 it was a great show, by the way, Justin. It was oh, fantastic. Man. It was it was it was awesome. I, I I don't I don't think we have enjoyed a jury. Show so so much. for for the record, um, uh, when Andrew Maine sent this over to us, and uh, I, I I didn't get the chance to tell you, Justin, but um, I tweeted out this uh, this maker arm, and uh, uh, yeah yeah yeah, you watched this, right? No, I haven't. Uh, okay, first of all, I want you to watch it through the lens of somebody who clearly knows they have a million dollar product, but it's not enough for them to do the things that they know that will bring them a million dollars, but they just want to rub their balls in your face where it's like, you know it's a million dollar product! Fuck you! Well, All right, starting with the nod to the, uh, the Apple Macintosh. All right, here you go. Hello. I'm Maker Arm, the world's first multifunctional robotic arm that fits anywhere in your workspace. I have changeable tool heads that allow me to do some really neat stuff, and I can help my humans make just about anything. I can 3D print freely, since I don't live in a box. I can auto-level, so my humans don't have to. I can make things up to 30 inches long and 10 inches tall on any flat surface. I can make high quality 3D prints with both filament and resin. So far pretty good, right? Yeah. Fuck you. But I can do a lot more than just 3D printing. I'm great at building the next big thing. Like this. I can cut sheets and 3D print corners. <laughs> I can pick and place sheets and panels together and create a custom PCB. I can solder, mm -hmm. assemble components. I can even work with fellow maker arms. You impressed yet? Yeah, yeah pretty impressed. No, fuck you! <laughs> Voila! Here's our finished project, a custom laptop. They just made a fucking laptop! So I can what? Be My Asians can do that. All of your devices. Plus, oh my, my humans can teach me tricks and send me remote instructions. I was made for creative people everywhere. I can make really impressive toys. and fabric what and create custom invites I can etch glass engrave plastic and leather carve metal and wood I can also plot designs I suck Owen's dick after that <laughs> one time <laughs> yeah. You both are fired. I'm replacing you with MakerBots. I don't need friends. And yes, I can even <laughs> decorate cakes. Eat shit, all other Kickstarters! Yeah. Another cool thing, my humans can design their own custom tool heads for me. <laughs> it feels great helping my humans build their dreams. And I would love to see Maker Arms in labs, garages, and tinkering stations everywhere. That's How much does this thing cost? A million dollars? Thousand my bucks. makers have spent two years perfecting me and my fellow Maker Arms. Right now, we are working So, this is apparently a functional prototype. So we can be on our way to all you <laughs> W's got us one, Your but does it make cake for gay we weddings? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so get ready for this. I got an email. I tweeted that out, and then I got an email from the folks who run that uh, run that shit. Shut up. Uh, asking yeah. guess guess where they're located. Uh, uh, Austin, Austin, Texas. Texas. Uh, land of the meat, and they say, yep. "Who wants to come see the fucking prototypes play?" And uh, and we're, I'm like, "We're getting a demo." 
I'm like, I have an immigrant friend who would like yes. to uh, <laughs> who would like to uh, come over. Uh, yeah, dude. So so I think we're gonna we're gonna maybe maybe this week. <laughs> you want me to come and see the immigrant? <laughs> No. By the way, Rocco Dine says that they mention a price. It should be on on the Kickstarter. Yeah, right? yeah. No, it's a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars. One one uh, print head or whatever. But and and I think two thousand with all of them. A maker is... arm, a head pack. Uh, ooh, hello. A choice of any tool head, more head, all the head. Uh, Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. You that... get two heads, and then you. So get... this will hit. This will. I mean, because like these big industrial Kickstarter things usually do extraordinarily well. They. They already uh, got all their good stuff out. It, it, there's only like uh, the very highest uh, price. Um, oh yeah, no, they have oh. five backers all gone. Five yeah, backers all gone. Oh well, that's their, that's why they haven't hit their main thing yet. One backer. I mean, it only launched today. I think uh, twenty one hundred more. Oh, it's pretty amazing. No, but these are all going to be gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it's... they are. I mean, that's a, that's a really weird thing, price wise. I'd love to talk to them about like what what their what their goal was because like, uh, it, unless they're going to add, but even then they're not going to hit their first goal to add stuff because they obviously goal, don't want to get into a, a thing where they're where they're commercially advertising. They probably already got the shit funded, bro. I mean, Possible. it's it's yeah. I mean, but but they have it at three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I guess that's my question. Is like, like there's not enough uh, rewards to reach that number. What are you guys um, thinking? They'll yeah, add there's... more. They, they, can't you update? And add well, more I know, stuff? but like, why would you contribute if yeah, you can't get? Because they want somebody really rich to come in and just dump a oh, shit ton of money into it. No, no, it says oh, oh, oh got yeah. it. Those okay, seven backers so far. One is not limited. Right. right. Got it. Okay, so well, none they, of these are no, limited. Then they are getting into. Mass production, theoretically. Yeah. yeah. What well, that's what they said is that these are these are prototypes that they have right now. And that well, it it's not that hard, bro. Think about it. You make two maker bots, and you let those maker bots make more maker bots. Come to fuck on, bro. It's easy math, baby. Come on, uh, man. Don't you, y'all acting like it's hard, player. You make two. You make four. You make six. You make eight. You make ten. See what I'm saying? You double up. Hey, you get two maker bots, and they see each other. And, uh... You start flipping bots, baby. <laughs> I mean, one bot gets another bot pregnant. Got two. No, bots. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Uh, so it's four backers. So what? Twenty five dollars is unlimited. Right. Yeah. Nine ninety nine is Was, all gone. Right. At yeah. Five. And then twelve hundred dollars is all gone. On. And then uh, another twelve hundred dollars all, all gone. That's on weird. Five. Uh, twelve ninety nine is all gone at five. Fourteen hundred. Is the real number right? That's like their uh, their main. So fourteen's their unlimited one, and they've done one of them. And then same with fifteen hundred, you get more. Gotcha. So if you're in for fourteen, you're probably in for fifteen. And then the uh, the this is probably the one they plan to sell a shit ton of is twenty two hundred. You get like all all, all the, the heads. heads. You get all the heads. You get all the head. You fucking yeah. just explode. All the heads and me. Even the head. <laughs> That's my big question: is can it can it you know, can it barbecue? Can we somebody don't sleep brisket for free, that <laughs> dude? That shit with with this like it's laser etching and resin printing yeah. and all that shit on top. No, that's, a, that's ridiculous. It, it's amazing. What I'm 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 just a little concerned that the price is a little low, and I'm afraid it it, it won't be able to make it. But it's precise. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, I'm worried about, and and believe you me, this is something that I've thought a lot about is when you are unfamiliar with exactly how you are going to be producing all this stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. You start to make, unless you want to lose money, you start to make uh, quality yep. compromises. Yep. Yeah. Well, if somebody's making that, I assume that they're doing what the fuck they're supposed to do. I'm just giving them the cre credit of the doubt over most people that make things. Like, if you're making that maker bot that makes everything, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking you're pretty good on build quality. And, 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 the, and, the, the history of Kickstarter might argue with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, I'm, but, uh, that's one of the coolest things I've ever seen anywhere besides, forget Kickstarter, though. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. Like, a lot of Dude, shit on Kickstarter I, I, is like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, the, the, a cookie the, cutter. All, the Hall of Failed Kickstarters, which should be right next to the Hall of Presidents, uh, about awesome stuff <laughs> that never happened, uh, will we'll show you a bunch of amazing videos that brought you nothing. 
No, but but it it seems logical, right? They're they have the 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 arms that they can they place wherever they want to just change the heads. Um, so so it, it, it seems like a good it, idea. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, the here's the big thing is that it's not in a box, right? Right. right. Look, that that's the big revolutionary element of it because everything that it is showing is there because it's not in a box. Right. And yes. it's it's basically a robot arm that does anything you want, and 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 and, and if, to give you an idea, I'm in the market for some of these products, and this does what three things that I would have to buy for fourteen hundred bucks do. So it's you know it's a, like it's a the price. etching and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't afford all my agents to do all this stuff. I, they lost me at the artwork. <laughs> All my Asians can build circuits and laptops and stuff, but once you get to the artwork and the freehand cake writing <laughs> and the card right now, my Asians can't do that. They don't. They don't speak no English. There we go. So it, you know, it's hard that English. Your Asians can't speak no English. No, 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 no habla, Justin. No habla. No, no habla japonés. No habla japonés. <laughs> no, it's it, it's um. I think. I think most people, if, if it actually becomes like a, a, a real product, I think most people would get two. I think that's what they're aiming for, like most uh, Maker Labs and stuff. I'm, I'm so, oh. so it launched today. <laughs> yeah. Brian I mean, Deep Throat Brushwood's going to tell us no how realistic it is when he <laughs> deep, delves deep into the software and finds out with his little test. Hells yeah, dude. I'm going to get all the heads. <laughs> deep Throat Brushwood. Uh, yeah. Oh, think that maybe the heads are the problem. Maybe too many heads. <laughs> too many heads. Spoil the broth. Looks like uh, it looks like they're saying after the 16th of October yep. is when we'll have to do it. Mm -hmm. um, all right, not a problem. We'll respond on. Mm. We'll take up our private conversations with Jerkbot or Maker Arm. Uh, mm. damn son, I think I might uh shut this bad bitch down. Mm. I might go play some Hearthstone. Uh, dude, I had a very satisfying run of like uh, three or four victories in the row. And uh, uh, Peter Severance, who I think tunes in to watch both of us, yep. uh, there was this moment he tuned in to watch. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying out this mech druid deck. I don't know. And then uh, uh, there was a moment that I was just clearly, clearly screwed. And uh, the guy didn't see it. He had lethal. And uh, and and ended up hitting some other stuff. And Peter Severance is all like, "Oh, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it." And then uh, and then I I trounced him. It was really amazing. Dude, there is nothing more satisfying in the like sixteen and up range of people just missing lethal. Yeah. Oh, and absolutely. And not like complicated lethal, but like really easy lethal. Uh, hey, uh, Owen, would you describe Austin, Texas, as black friendly? Be honest. Uh, I didn't have any problems the times I was there, but I was also there. I'm always there during party time, so for the most part, it's so crowded anyway. But I never had any issues. Um, I mean, I, I, I mean, granted, I've been here for a while, but, but, um, explain I, to Owen how black friendly. Is. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, like, um, I know that I fell into. I never paused to think about how multi-ethnic my friends, my my circle of friends were until like uh, there's this <laughs> moment. Because I grew up mainly outside of, you know, Houston in an almost all white community. There was one black kid and we had to be taught what the concept of racism meant because we just, you know, everyone looked the same. Um, yeah. And, and it seemed like this abstract, patently ridiculous idea. Uh, and then, you know, and it wasn't until, you know, then later you go to college and you realize, oh, shit, like people can really be hateful assholes, you know, as, as they come in from other parts of Texas. But just say but, Dallas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but there was this moment that I looked up and it was it was it was really great as as I fell in with, um, you know, uh, Corey Coleman and Martin Thomas and, uh, and the whole real deal crowd. And I was like, I think me and Jason Murphy are the only white friends in this circle. And uh, uh, I don't know. There was there was a real joy that came with that. And, and I don't know if that's an Austin thing or just, you know, the luck of the draw on that. But it was a. Uh, it's it's weird because I don't I don't ever take a census of the or, or I hadn't ever taken a census of the race of all my friends until that moment. Yeah, you got you got lucky in one of those groups where you fell down. <laughs> where I fell down? You fell down. Like yeah, as, I'm with the as, crew. As, as I'm, Dave I'm cool. Chappelle explains, uh, someone's got to talk to the cops. All right. Brian's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm the white friend. Okay, okay. I can deal with this. 
I know? have a place I'm, here. I'm sorry, officer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just one of those things too, like where I see like. You know, when you talk about race, so like that, people are always like, "There's black Twitter," and you know, people get mad about Black Lives Matter. I'm like some things, black people shouldn't put black in front of, because as much as you're yelling about white people not including you, you automatically exclude yourself. Have you, you uh, know? Have you watched and, the show Black Jesus? No, I haven't watched it. Yet. I heard it's funny though. Yeah, it looks funny. A, a lot of people tell me it's funny. Um, but again, but it's probably because it has the word black in the title. That's the only reason I haven't watched it because stuff like that annoys me. Mm-hmm. Like you know, but whatever. I should wait, watch it because it's very. Wait, is Black Twitter real? Black Twitter is a. That's a. Oh, that's Black Twitter is real. Like yeah, Black dude. Twitter is funny. Really? I mean, I understand like why it's Black Twitter because it's like really Black Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again, it's like there's no need for that. But whatever. I mean, because also it's but like Austin's okay. Look, look at look at the trending topics, and it might be different now from when you know back when I was more interested in looking at what the trending topics were each each day. But most of the trending topics that I've ever looked at them, half of them are, are black Twitter trending topics. It's yeah. like, you know, yeah. shit your pastor say when. <laughs> like, it's stuff <laughs> like that. When your girl won't leave a crib in the morning. <laughs> How'd you get out of your job last night? Like, it's all, it's just dumb shit, you know? Uh, shit your grandmama used to say. <laughs> there was once, uh, I forget. Where it was, it was something. I think it's on a black Twitter Reddit, and I saw it because it linked from a uh, a wrestling post. But it was all just pictures of people with like bug eyes, like just like ah, like screaming bug eyes, and it was just uh, hashtag when you nut and she's still sucking. Like Twitter is pretty great. Uh, maybe I am. I think. I think. Um, I certainly would would like to think that um, that Austin would uh, would be a wonderful place for you to move to. Um, I find that Austin is like um, very you filled, know, filled with meats. Yes, there's all kinds of meat. Uh, but um, uh, you know the uh, in the Wizard of Oz, like it's black and white at the very beginning. And and then the the twister hits and, and you go to this colorful land with munchkins and all kinds of different people. It feels like that when you drive in from Houston. It it, it feels like Houston is kind of <laughs> the land. And then suddenly you're like in in uh, you know Munchkin land and stuff. It it's it's really fantastic. I I always like driving in and get greeted by the uh, by the Rasta white lawyer uh, poster. Oh yeah yeah we yeah. <laughs> uh, David Gomi the lawyer who rocks. Yeah. Oh man, it's, it's, it's just fantastic. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I think Austin would be a nice place to move to, maybe. Uh, I mean, yeah, theoretically for you, Jaime, <laughs> yeah. maybe. I mean, like just in a in a perfect <laughs> world. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I can't. I mean, because I think very often when you're like explaining to to uh, uh, black people what you know the black experience you know would be, you kind of get into weird troubled grounds <laughs> because uh, it's, it's, it's hard to understand what that is when you are not living it. So I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I would say that Austin is a city that I have seen kind of repeated as I've traveled around the country that like, it's the city where all the cool people move to and whatever you would describe the cool people to be like, it's just, no, no, I'm not like this other thing. I am this other thing. It is very counterculture. In that, and so if you were to think as Texas as a racist state or a state with racists in it, that part oh, of the counterculture for Austin <laughs> is is not being that. And uh, Austin great. also has the problem of being a tech savvy location. So, like, I remember like two years ago, there was a woman who had some kind of racial thing on her storefront, and she got bombarded. And come to find out. Uh, a racist person walking by and stuck the sticker on their window because there are multiple ethnicity people in her shop. So she got, bra- she's like, look, I love black people. I love everybody. I don't know who put the sticker. We didn't put the sticker on the door. And so to kind of find out, but like that social and technological advancement in that area, you wouldn't even be allowed to be racist there because your whole shit would be set ablaze by clock people torches. And uh, so we stand for our meds in like 30 seconds in that <laughs> oh, bitch. Geez. Like, so oh Austin, yeah, no. I mean pretty nobody's safe. allowed to we be. We police racist. ourselves in Austin, bitch. I mean, unless you're running the tech company. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're out, guys. Oh wait, on. Oh, I thought I was gonna play the right thing, and then I didn't. There we go. All right, we'll see you guys. Love you. Bye.